A scientific study looking at the language used in media reports on violence against women says changing just one word can make a real difference. I've been speaking to psychologists Ursula and Julia from Heidelberg in Germany. We conducted an empirical study in Germany and in the US and we used a small, very small newspaper text uh, in which the same crime was worded either as a domestic drama, which means downplaying frame, we used a downplaying frame, or, or as murder. And altogether, we found that subjects' emotional reactions were stronger when the off- offense was named murder. People who have um, very hostile attitudes towards women um, have been positively affected by using um, adequate crime labels such as murder. It's a very interesting finding that those people were most strongly affected by, by the adequate framing. One of their conclusions is the need for guidelines on how the media should cover stories. Exactly that has already existed for reporting suicides for nearly 30 years. The Samaritans introduced guidelines for journalists in 1994 and they're now widely followed. I think that that's because of the research evidence showing the the very high risks. You know, we are talking potentially in the worst case scenario about life or death. You know, it can influence people's behaviour in a very negative way. We have been monitoring and assessing news coverage in the UK over the last decade. Um, And what that data shows us is that there is much greater understanding among journalists of the sensitivities and risks when it comes to covering this topic. So we're now asking, should this happen for violence against women too?